السلام عليكم جميعا ورحمة الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى أهل بيته الأطيبين الأنجبين بهم نتولى ومن أعدائهم نتبره إلى الله أيها الناس اتقوا الله I invite myself and you all to تقوى خد را و همه تون را به تقوى دعوت می کنم که پروا داشته باشیم و فرامین الهی را در هر حالی در زندگی رعایت کنیم هر آنچه که واجب قرار داده را پاس بذاریم و هر آنچه را که نهی من کرده از اون دوری کنیم در همون وصیتی که در همون خطبه امیرالمؤمنین سلام الله علیه به حمام اومد خدمت امیرالمؤمنین سوال کرد سفلی المتقین Can you explain to me who the muttaqin are? Muttaqin چه کسانی هستن؟ این پنج خطبه گذشته هر هفته یه فرازی از اون خطبه را می گفتیم حالا امروز می رسیم به این جمله که امیر المؤمنین می فرمایند که اما اللیل فصافون اقدامهم تالین لعجزاء القرآن یرتلونها ترتیلا يحزنون به أنفسهم ويستثيرون به دواء دائهم يعني متقين اونهایی هستند که شب هنگام اینا به پا می خیزند قرآن را شمرده با تدبر می خانند این که در قرآن اومده رد تل القرآن ترتیلا يعني ترتیلا means you recite قرآن thoughtfully That is tertil, recitation of Qur'an, یعنی با فکر بخونید. یعنی اینی که دارید میخونید با تدبر باشه که بفهمیم چی داره میگه خدای متعال که انشاءالله میرسیم به اونجا که در روایات هم اومده که خیلی از اوقات خیلی از این قراعت ها خیلی نداره اگر درش تدبر نیست. تدبر یعنی ما ممکنه آیاتی را بخونیم و بفهمیم خوبه. همینجوری بخونیم اونم خوبه ولی اون که بهتر هست با تدبره با فهمه که انسان با فهم قرآن را بفهمه بعد میفرمایند که that at night they stand up and they recite the verses of Quran thoughtfully by which they grieve their souls and ask for the medicine for their pain from it یعنی همین آیاتی که میخونند شب هنگام آیات رحمت هست آیات مجده هست آیات عذاب هست there are آیات that talk about the glad tidings about the wrath and the chastisement متقین when they come to these آیات that are talking about the, uh, the good news or the glad tidings or the mercy and favors of Allah In the آخره they feel happy خوشحال میشن وقتی این آیات رحمت را میخونن وقتی هم که میرسن به اونجایی که آیات عذاب هست غمگین میشن محزون میشن they get sad when they come to these آیات that talk about the wrath and the عذاب يحز... then says فَإِذَا مَرُّوا بِآيَةٍ فِيهَا تَشْوِيقٌ رَكَنُوا إِلَيْهَا تَمَعَا و تطلعت نفوسهم الیها شوقا و ظنو انها نصب و اعیونهم When they come to these ayat that talk about the mercy and the glad tidings and the good news they think as if that good news is being addressed to themselves یعنی آیات رحمت انگار خطاب به خودشونه ما عدبی که به ما یاد دادن در قرآن وقتی میخونیم حالا همه این حرفایی که میزنم اول درسی است برای خودم که اونجا میفرمایند که هر وقت قرآن خوندید و رسیدید به آیه یا ایها الذین آمنو ای کسانی که ایمان آورده اید 
O you who believe, when you come to these ayat, there you say within yourself, Labbaik. And he got Khuda in ayat ra ba man dare sohbat mikone ki man guftam Labbaik be hamin farman elahi. Khub. Wa eda marru be ayatin fiha takhwifun asgau ilayha masamia kulu behem. وَظَنُّوا أَنَّ زَفِيرَ جَهَنَّمْ وَشَهِيقَهَا فِي أُسُولِ آذَانِهِمْ And when they reach a verse in which there is fear, there is warning against the sins, they open their ears, ears of their hearts, and they cry, they cry and they weep due to the fear of the fire of the hell. In the time of the ayat, the azab bishun, وقت بهش میرسن میخونن گریه میکنن ناراحت میشن محزون میشن و احساس میکنن این زفیر و شهیق این دو واژه است که در قرآن هم اومده که جهنم زفیر داره جهنم شهیق داره زفیر means to inhale یعنی دم یعنی وقتی نفس میکشید اکزیل باز دم یعنی زفیر شهیق یعنی خود جهنم هم دم و بازدم داره even the hell it breathes in and breathes out inhales and exhales که جهنم معمولا مردم فکر میکنن که جهنم یعنی یه ساختمانیست که اونجا میبرن عذابشون میکنن یعنی که تبهکار و گناهکار و آسی بودن اینطور نیست قرآن می فرماید که وجی ایوم اذن به جهنم روز قیامت که میشه جهنم را میارند جی ایوم اذن به جهنم on the day of judgment the hell will be brought to the scenes of محشر بعد حدیث می فرماید که این جهنمی را که میارند مثل یک حیوان وحشی درندهی که هر آن می تونه فرار کنه از صاحبش هفتاد هزار ملک اینا میگیرن و میکشونن میارن به صحرای محشر اون جهنم است یعنی همون موجودی که دم داره باز دم داره that being that inhales and that breathes in and that breathes out will be brought to the scenes of محشر and that جهنم will get hold of all the wrongdoers and the sinners که جهنم اونجا میاد اونایی که بد کردن گناه کار بودن، تبه کار بودن، آسی بودن میاد سراغشون اینطور نیست که یه ساختمانی است که میبرن اونجا میاندازن توی جهنم نه، جهنم موجود زنده است که اینجا در این خطبه هم فرمودن زفیر و شهیق داره that the hell also it inhales and it exhales خب then he says that these مؤمنین who rise at night and then they recite Qur'an and that recitation is also tartil tartil also a recitation that is thoughtful and which has tadabbur in it with understanding and with fahm fahum hanoon ala awsatihim muftarishoon lijibahihim wa akuffihim wa rukubihim wa rukbihim wa rukabihim atrafi aqdamihim يَطْلُبُونَ إِلَى اللَّهِ تَعَالَى فِي فَكَاكِ رَقَابِهِمْ Now these muttaqeen, they at night, they get up, they present themselves before Allah, they bow down before Him, their foreheads in sajda, their hands stretched before Him, and their knees and their toes, as if the entire existence of man, He is before the Almighty Allah, and what he does is that he seeks the وَفِقَّاكَ رَقَابِهِمْ They ask Allah to be freed from the fire. خب متقین در پیشگاه خدا خم میکنن خودشون را به رکوع و سجده میارن و شب هنگام هم که بیدار میشن قرآن تلاوت میکنن راز و نیاز میکنن و از پیشگاه خدا میخواهند که اینها را برهاند از اون آتش. این دعاهایی که از امشب از فردا شب شروع می کنیم خوندنش در ماه رمضان یکی از دعاهایی که زیاد بشه توجه فکاک رقبتی من النار 
که خدایا منو از آتش جهنم رهایم کن آزادی بخش خب اینجا هم امیر المؤمنین he also says the same thing that these متقین they are those not only in the month of Ramadan it is the daily program that they get up they ask him to forgive and seek the forgiveness of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala so the tartil was what was mentioned by Amir al-Mu'minin there is a hadith it says that ala la khayra fi qira'atin laysa fiha tadabbur hadith says that there is no goodness in a qira'at in a recitation where there is no tadabbur no thoughtfulness ala la khayra fi ibadatin laysa fiha tafaqquh likewise a worship without understanding you just uh, we just uh, offer prayers without knowing without understanding imam says la khair that goodness that should be in that action it doesn't exist in that prayer where there is no faham where there is no tafaqquh Khub. the other thing that imam mentions in in a riwayah that is from imam sajjad alayhi salam he says ayatul quran khaza'inu فَكُلَّمَا فُتِحَتْ خَزِينَةٌ يَنْبَغِي لَكَ أَنْ تَنْظُرَ مَا فِيهَا Ayat quran they are like a treasure. So when you open a trunk of a treasure, what you do is that you look into it to see what is in that trunk, what is in that treasure. Ayat quran are like a treasure. Imam says that when your treasure is in the back of your head, then you can see what you see. یعنی نگاه میگنید که توش چه خبره چه جواهری در این خزانه هست and that is something that we have to look into when it comes to the holy Quran and it is the season of Quran that is approaching now alaykum salamatullah all these beautiful ayat and riwayat were mentioned here from the khutbah muttaqin of Amir al-Mu'mineen Ali alayhi salatu wa salam and if you want to Look into that khutbah. It's khutbah number 193 from Nahj al-Balagha. Khutbah al-Muttaqeen. And over there, Imam mentions tens of qualities that mu'mineen, muttaqeen, they should be um, having in them. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Wa lam yakun lahu kufuan ahad. Allah. اللهم صل على محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى أهل بيته الأطيبين الأنجبين وصلى على علي أمير المؤمنين والحسن والحسين وعلي بن الحسين ومحمد بن علي وجعفر ابن محمد وموسى ابن جعفر وعلي ابن موسى ومحمد ابن علي وعلي ابن محمد والحسن ابن علي والخلف الهاد المهدي حجتك على عبادك وأمنائك في بلادك صلاة كثيرة دائمة اللهم وصل على ولي أمرك القائم المؤمل والعدل المنتظر وحفه بملائكتك المقربين وأيده بروح القدس يا رب العالمين. صل على محمد وعلى محمد وعلى محمد. Once again I invite myself and you all to taqwa. And on a day like today in the month of Shaaban, Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم he delivered this khutbah. which is known as the Khutbah Sha'baniyya. It was the last Friday of the month of Sha'ban and Rasulullah he delivers this sermon that Akhirin Jum'i Maah Sha'ban bud ke Peygamber in Khutbah ra khundan. Hala man in Khutbah ra mi khunam, in baazi az faraz hasham tawzi mi dam. And it is all about the importance of the sacred month of Ramadan. 
If it is tomorrow the moon is sighted and if it is tomorrow the first of the sacred month of Ramadan, we will start the reciting Dua Iftitah from tonight. And also it is mustahab to recite Dua Joshan Kabir. If you want to be blessed to perceive Laylatul Qadr. Inshallah, if that is the case, we will recite Dua Joshan Kabir tonight. Ke mustahab bas, ke dar shab awwal maah Ramazan, agar sabit shod ke farda awwal has, ma inja Dua Joshan Kabir mi khunim. Imam Sadiq Salamullah alayhi mi farmayan ke kisi ke shab awwal maah Ramazan Dua Joshan Kabir be khune, یعنی موفق میشه لیلت القدر را درک کنه حالا همه این زحماتی که ما میکشیم عباداتی که داریم دعاهایی که میخونیم قرآن هست و روز گرفتن هست همه اینا فقط و فقط خاطر اینه که برسیم به شب قدر اگر نرسیم به شب قدر خوب دیگه ضرر کردیم and that is why all these steps have been mentioned by the ma'asumin that on the night of the first of the sacred month you recite Dua Joshan Kabir ke inshallah ma mikhunin so in the month of Ramadan you do it four times on the night of the first on the night of the 19th which is the first Laylatul Qadr the second 21st and the third 23rd these four nights inshallah we also will observe so if it is cited then tonight if not tomorrow night رسول الله says أيها الناس إنه قد أقبل إليكم شهر الله بالبركة والرحمة والمغفرة. A beautiful month has fast approached you. A month which is all mercy. A month which is all barakat. A month which is all forgiveness. شهر هو عند الله أفضل الشهور. The best of months before Allah. Now for those who are on the path of suluk and they want to get to Allah the Baraka wa Ta'ala, the start of their year, it's the month of Ramadan. The calendar starts in Muharram. But those of us who are moving towards Allah in that sayr, in that suluk, for them it is the month of Ramadan which is the starting point. So we start preparing for the month of Ramadan from Rajab, Sha'aban, and now it is the month of Ramadan. The best of months before Allah. Then he says, Ayyamuhu afdalul ayyam. Ruzhash behtarin ruzhash. The days of that month are the best of days. Layalihi afdalul layali. The nights are the best. Behtarin shabhara in mahdare. هر ساعتی که تو این ماه ببینید بهترین ساعت هست ساعت هو افضل ساعت the best of hours belong to this month و هو شهر دعیتم فیه الى ضیافت الله It is a month where you all have been invited to a feast prepared by Allah تبارک و تعالی یعنی مهمان دار این ماه خداست ما مهمان هستیم میزبان اوس ما مهمان هستیم He is the host We are the guest So he has prepared everything for this beautiful month A table is being laid before everyone in this month of Ramadan So lucky are those who come to a feast And they benefit from what has been prepared in that feast And they benefit If someone comes there and says, I'm sick, I cannot eat, I cannot sit, I cannot be part of it, he is the one who's going to lose from that feast. So in this month, Allah has laid a table for everyone. For everyone, whatever he wants, he can get in this beautiful month of Allah. وَجَعَلْتُمْ فِيهِ مِنْ أَهْلِ كَرَامَةِ اللَّهِ And Allah, he has made you among the benignant or the ahl al karama the most generous, the best of his creation. Quran recognizes two as kareem. One, the angels in Surah al uh, Yasin, they say mukarramin or mukramin, they are the angels. Or the imams, I may athar, they are the, the kareem, kareem ahl al bayt that we say. یعنی کرما یعنی دو تا موجود هست که خدای متعال اینا را کریم خطاب کرده یکی فرشتگان هستند دومی ائمه اطهار اینجا پیغمبر میفرمایند که وجعلتم فیه من اهل کرامت الله که شما را خدای متعال جزو کریمان قرار داده تو این ماه 
انفاس و کنفیه تسبیح شما هیچ کار تو این ماه نکنید هیچ کار نکنید همین نفس که می کشید در هر سا... دقیقه 60 مرتبه در هر ساعتی 3600 مرتبه نفس که می کشید این نفستون حکم تسبیح داره یعنی انگار دارید تسبیحات اربعه می خونید همین نفس کشیدن سبحان الله گفتن است یعنی خدای متعال یه همچی برنامه زیبایی and he has made this beautiful program for his creation that you're breathing in this month it's that beautiful نومکم فیهی عبادتون your sleep in this month is worship you don't feel like doing anything you just go and sleep away بخوابید این خوابتون هم عبادت هست that worship is going to be worship your sleep عملکم فیهی مقبول now in this month that we are or other months we do things whether or not they will be accepted we don't know Rasulullah says whatever you do in the month of Ramadan maqbool it is accepted by Allah wa ta'ala why? he is that Rahman he is that Rahim he accepts du'aukum fihi mustajab du'as that you have they are all accepted in this month now that it is a beautiful month your breathing is tasbih your sleeping is worship whatever you ask it's granted your du'as they are accepted what do we ask rasulullah says fas'alullah rabbakum biniyyatin sadiqatin wa qulubin tahiratin an yuwaffiqakum li siyamihi wa tilawati kitabih says that you ask allah with sincere hearts and with a pure soul that he gives you the opportunity and tawfiq that you fast the sacred month and that you recite the Qur'an and in two things from God and with a sincere and honest and that God is the best that we will take a day and take the Qur'an to the Qur'an and take the Qur'an to the Qur'an in the first verse it is the first verse it is the first verse it is the first verse we don't have to understand we read the Qur'an and we read one of these verses that we read every day we understand that God has said what is said in this verse فَإِنَّ الشَّقِيهِ مَنْ حُرِمَ غُفْرَانَ اللَّهِ فِي هَذَا الشَّهْرِ الْعَظِيمِ بعد می فرماید که The worst of the people, the most wretched and disgraced is someone who is not forgiven in this great month وَذْكُرُوا بِجُوعِكُمْ وَعَتَشِكُمْ فِيهِ جُوعَ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ وَعَتَشَ When you feel hungry and you are thirsty remember the thirst and the hunger of the day of judgment گروس نمیشید، تش نمیشید، گروس نگیو، تش نگیو روز قیامت را به ذهن بیارید، به خاطر بیارید. و تصد دقو على فقرائكم و مساكينكم. You help those by charity, those who are poor, and from among your family members. و وقرو كباركم. Honor those who are older than you. و رحمو صغاركم. Have mercy on those who are younger than you. وَسِلُوا أَرْحَامَكُمْ And then do good to your family. یعنی سلی رحم در این ماه وارد شده. یعنی do good to your family members. And then, یعنی اگر هم رابطه ای با کسی خراب شده درستش کنیم در همین ماه که ماه ماه پیغمبر هست که در یه حدیث که اونجا می فرماید که سلت الرحم تقی میتت السوء و تحون الحساب یعنی نیکی کردن به بستگان و به فامیل ها یعنی عمر انسان را طولانی می کند یعنی it increases your life span by 30 years doing good to someone who is within your family and to have win al hisab and on the day of judgment the accountability and taking of the account also will be easy just for doing good to the family and then says, وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ مِنْ ذُنُوبِكُمْ Repent before Allah تبارك و تعالى for all the wrong that you have done وَرْفَعُوا إِلَيْهِ أَيْدِيَكُمْ بِالدُّعَا فِي أَوْقَاتِ سَلَاتِكُمْ فَإِنَّهَا أَفْتَلُ السَّاعَاتِ Yani the times of prayers are the best of times and in these times you ask Allah تبارك و تعالى to have your duas granted to have your duas accepted ينظر الله عز وجل فيها بالرحمة على عباده. الله looks at his creation with mercy in this month. and then says that ويلبيهم إذا نادوا. 
Allah says Labbaik when you call upon him when you call him in this month of Ramadan now when we've got when we go to Mecca and we say Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik that is Allah we have come to the call of yours Prophet Ibrahim had I said Labbaik in this month of Ramadan Rasulullah says whatever you have however you address the Almighty Allah the Almighty Allah says Labbaik to you in that Sa'i that we have in Mecca that is when you are moving between Safa and Marwa there is a point where you have to jog run a little faster that is called Harwala Harwala means jogging so there's between the green lights when you go to Sa'i you have to jog Hadith says that when a person asks Allah and calls upon him, he says Labbaik. But when a sinner says Allah help me, Allah doesn't come to him, doesn't say Labbaik, says he runs and rushes towards him to help him. Just like what we have in this accident and emergency units in the hospitals, someone who's critically injured is seen first. Others, they have to wait. Everyone is in an emergency. But those who need help more, they have seen quicker. Allah does the same. That someone who has done wrong, someone who has sinned, and someone who has approached him has come to him, he comes, he rushes towards him to help him out. Then says, him ida him ida When they ask, he gives them وَيَسْتَجِيبُ لَهُمْ إِذَا دَعَوْهُ And he responds to their du'as when they call upon him. أَيُّهَا النَّاسِ إِنَّ أَنفُسَكُمْ مَرْهُونَةٌ بِأَعْمَالِكُمْ فَفُكُّوهَا بِإِسْتِغْفَارِكُمْ Says that your backs, they are heavy. Heavy with all the sins that you have done. And he كَمَرِتٌ سَنْجِينَ شُدَيْ با این گناه هایی که انجام دادید پیغمبر می فهمند که اینا سبکش کنید آزادش کنید چطور؟ با استغفار با سجده های طولانی و ظهورکم ثقیلتون من اوزارکم فخففو عنها به طول سجودکم So you make your backs lighter from all the sins that you have done by performing longer sajdas and saying استغفرالله now we've got a lot of a'mal for the sacred month of Ramadan. If you see Mafatih al Janan, the major chunk of that thick book, it's only observances, a'mal, du'as, prayers for the month of Ramadan. So it is that important. Now in these little booklets that we have, only that what can be done easily has been mentioned. So in this, one of the actions that we can do in the sacred month of Ramadan, in addition to these du'as and ziyarat and tasbihat that we have, have two sajdas, just random sajdas. Once in the morning, during the day, one at night. And have a long sajda, a few minutes if you have your sajdas for five seconds or ten seconds. Now this increase it to five minutes, seven minutes, ten minutes. Say it's a tasbihat, uh, whichever tasbih you like, and the best of these azkar and sajda is La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min al Say that a few times. And have these two sajdas throughout the month, once during the day and once at night. Yiki azkar hai ki mitoni marahat and jambedim, chizi ziyadi am khundan o didan o kitabu in atush nis. Dota sajda dar tule mahi ramazan har ruz. داشته باشید یه سجده در روز یه سجده هم در شب حالا تو این سجده هر ذکری که بلدید بگید سبحان الله و الحمد لله و لا اله الا الله و الله اکبر یا همین ذکر یونسیه لا اله الا انت سبحانک اینی کنتو من الظالمین سجده طولانی یعنی که پنج دقیقه ده دقیقه طولانی اینطوری یعنی همینجوری تو سجده باشید سجده طولانی نه اینکه فقط سبحان الله بگید و سجده پنج ثانیه که ما زیاد داریم این سجده پنج دقیقه ده دقیقه در طول ماه دو تا سجده داشته باشید اگر هم مس کردید اونا دیگه تکرارش کنید and if you do miss it and you forgot to do it then repeat it so that you've done these 60 sajdas throughout the month and may Allah make this month of Ramadan the best of those months that we have observed in our life
وعلم أن الله أقسم بعزته أن لا يعذب المصلين والساجدين وأن لا يروعهم بالنار يوم يقوم الناس لرب العالمين Then he says, Rasulullah, that Allah has promised not to punish those who have offered prayers, not to punish those who have performed sajdas during their life. And the Khudan Qasam Khurde, Vade Kerde, Kesiki Dar Tulain Ma Namaz Bipadasht, Kesiki Sajda Hai Dasht Tuin Ma, Inu Azab Khudan Nemi Kunan. And in that Yiki as in Revayat, Pegamber as Khudai Mutal, so all Kerd. The Prophet, he asks Allah in one of these sky trips that he has, says that, uh, Ya Allah, what is that best of statuses that you love and, uh, a person to be in? Unkari ke to khayli dusdari chiyya. Bande ye khuda, kei be khuda khayli nazdik mishe. Unja mi farman ke idha kaan al-abdu sajidan aw jaa'a. And even he is in the state of sajda or when he is hungry. یعنی هنگری گرسنه یعنی وقتی در حال روزه هست این ماه رمضان بهترین ماهی است که این راه هم میشه بهش رسید که هم سجده های طولانی داشته باشید هم به خدا نزدیک بشیم هم دیگه روزه هستیم ایوه الناس من فطر منکم صائما مؤمنا فی هذا الشهر کان له بذالک عند الله عدق رقبت و مغفرت لما مضا من ذنوبه says that in this month if you provide iftar and iftari bedid me mardum me farman ki for giving this iftar you will free yourself from the fire and providing iftar it's like freeing a slave yani bande ra azad kunid azadi besh bedid ingar hame chiz besh dadid shuma be ye nafar iftar bedid me farman ki as if you have freed yourself khodetun ra az atesh azad kardid تو همین مجلسی بود پیغمبر داشتن خطبه میگفتن مردم داشتن میشنیدن یکی گفت قیل یا رسول الله فلیس کلنا یقدر علی ذلك پروفیت وی کانات دو دت اول اف دا از وی کانات افورد تو پرووایڈ افطار فقال اتقوا النار ولو بشق تمره رسول الله سیز فیر الله فیر دا فایر افطار doesnt mean that you have to have Pakoris and pulkis and uh, dalshas and all those things. You don't need bulani and everything. No. Iftar means walau bishiq tamratan. Ye khurma. Ye dane khurma bedid unam iftare. Bad mi faman ke ayyuhan nas. Na ye khurma nisf khurma. Ye nisf khurma biyayid bedid. Benoan iftar wa khudetun ra azad kunid. Ittaqo nar walau bisharbatin min alma. Nemituni khurma bedid. Ye jur'e aab bedid. Bring some water, provide some water and free yourself from fire by providing iftar. So here inshallah, we will have iftar every night. And if you want to provide iftar, you want to contribute for iftar, you can do that. Inja madarim iftar hameshad. Agar dus darid, har chike dus darid, mitunid ba yeki az maha shuma tamas begirid. و بگید از قبل اگر افطار دوست دارید بیارید که دیگه اون روز چند نفر نیارن که معلوم بشه که چه روز چه کسی افطار رو میخواد بیاره ایوه الناس من حسن منکم فی هذا الشهر خلقه کان له جوازا علی الصراط یوم تزل فیه الاقدام Then he says O oh people in this month if you are well mannered اگر خوش اخلاق بودید تو این ماه به شما مجوز عبور از پل سرات داده میشه You will be given the permit to pass through the سرات Pass on the سرات من خفف فی هذا الشهر عما ملکت بیمینه عما ملکت یمینه خفف الله علیه حسابه Then he says for those of you who are employers and you've got employees working for you under you رسول الله says be kind to them be easy on them in this month so don't be too tough on them so in this month of Ramadan if every day of the year they used to work for you for eight hours in this month give them a free tell them to work five hours six hours four hours whatever is possible if during the day they are fasting and they cannot work then you give them ease that after iftar you come and work or you give them an ease here he says that 
be easy on your employees or those who you are working for you کسانی که برای شما کار میکنن اگر شما کار فرما هستید و تعدادی هم هستن زیر دستتون کار میکنن راحت باشید با آنها در این ماه من خفف فی هاد الشهر و اگر این طوری بودید and if you were like that Allah will take an easy account from you on the day of judgment only for being kind and generous towards your employees و من اکرم فیه یتیما اکرمه الله یوم یلقاه if you were good, if you were kind, if you were generous to someone who is an orphan Allah also will look at you with his mercy on the day when he meets وَمَنْ قَطَعَ فِيهِ رَحِمَهُ قَطَعَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُ رَحْمَتَهُ يَوْمَ يَلْقَاهُ If you break ties with your family in this month, Allah will break ties with you. وَمَنْ أَدَّا فِيهِ فَرْغًا كَانَ لَهُ ثَوَابُ مَنْ أَدَّا سَبْعِينَ فَرِيضَةً فِي مَا سِوَاهُ مِنَ الشُّهُورِ Any when you do some wajib or your duties in this month, says it is like performing in 70 folds in other months har kari ke anjam midid un yek nis masal ye namaz wajib o khundid yek namaz wajib nis uni ke khuda mi nawisad haftad das dar in ma baad mi farmayan ke dar hay behisht dar in ma baaz inha ra bar khodetun nabandid dar hay jahannam bar shoma baste ast inha ra bar khodetun baaz nakunid the doors of the hell they are shut on you don't open them upon yourself the doors of the heaven they are open upon before you don't shut them for yourself then he says wa shayatin maghloolatun fas'alu rabbakum alaykum salam فَاسْأَلُوا رَبَّكُمْ أَنْ لَا يُسَلِّطَهَا عَلَيْكُمْ Says the shayateen, they are locked and they are in chains in this month of Ramadan. Ask Allah never to unchain them, open them, dominate them upon you. Shayateen, they are in mah, they are in ghulu zanjiran, wa az khuda be khahid ke baaz nashan ina. Now this question is asked a lot that if shaitans they are in chains then why do people sin and they sin a lot more in the month of Ramadan? Why is that when the shaitan is not there? The reason for that is because we have all been sedated in all the wrong that we've been doing. We are fully charged. So the battery life of that charge of doing wrong that, we are, that was outside the sacred month of Ramadan it continues and it drains towards the end of the month of Ramadan and then shaitan is back in service after the month. So it is the wrong that we have had been used to or those satanic people who were bonded with us that is what uh, lets us go towards the wrong and in this month of Ramadan. And then he says that uh, all of a sudden Rasulullah he was delivering this sermon thumma baka he burst into tears. He started crying. And then Amir al muminin was present in that khutbah. He says, Ya Rasulullah, why do you cry? And he gave the Peygamber khutbah mi khundan. Ye dafi uftadan giriye. Shuru kadan be giriye kardan. Amir al-Mu'minin tarmudan ki chera giriye mi kuni. Rasulullah says, for that what is going to be made lawful in this month. چیزی که حلال خواهد شد در این ماه به خاطر اون دارم گریه میکنم then he says که انی بکه و انت تصلی لربکه و قدم بعث اشق الاولین شقیق و آقر ناقت ثمود و ضربکه ضربتن علا قلقک و قذب منها لحیتک says رسول الله that I see as if in this month when you are worshipping and you are fasting and in that state, the worst of men, he will come and strike on your head and I see your beard soaked in blood. Peygamber فرمودن که دارم میبینم که در همین ماه خواهد بود که شما مشغول عبادتی در حال روزه و نماز هستید که اون بدترین خلائق بر شما حمله به شما حمله خواهد کرد و محاسنتون رو میبینم که اینگار در خون آغشت است. حالا امیر المؤمنین he is the best of the creation. Amir means the chief of all the mu'mineen. Qala Amir al-mu'mineen. Faqultu, ya Rasulullah, wa dhalika fi salamatin min dini. 
says that Rasulullah then when I will be hit in the month of Ramadan will my deen will my iman be safe so Amir al muminin asked him that question is my deen aya barpa kha barja khahad bud ya na faqala fi salamat al min deenik Rasulullah says yes your deen is going to be safe ثُمَّ قَالَ يَا عَلِي مَنْ قَتَلَكَ فَقَدْ قَتَلَنِي Someone who has killed you has killed me. وَمَنْ أَبْغَضَكَ فَقَدْ أَبْغَضَنِي Someone who hates you has hated me. وَمَنْ سَبَّكَ فَقَدْ سَبَّنِي One who swears at you has sworn on me. كَأَنْتَ لِأَنَّكَ مِنِّي كَنَفْسِي Because you to me are like me. Ruhuka min ruhi wa tinatuka min tinati. Your soul is my soul. Your existence is my existence. Inna Allah tabaraka wa taala khalaqani wa iyyak. Allah has created you and me. Wa stafani wa iyyak. And Allah has chosen you and me. Wa khtarani lil nubuwa. Wa khtaraka lil imama. Allah has chosen me for nubuwa. Allah has chosen you for imama. وَمَنْ أَنْكَرَ إِمَامَتَكَ فَقَدْ أَنْكَرَ نُبُوَّتِ One who denies your imamat, Ya Ali, has denied my nubuwwat. Now this is that beautiful sermon Rasulullah gave on a day like today in the month of Sha'ban and most likely it was the last Friday of Sha'ban and it's known as the Khutbah Sha'baniyya of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam and all those beautiful sayings were mentioned in this Khutbah. Inshallah, we'll shed some more light in the forthcoming nights about this khutbah and all the important um, facts and figures that were mentioned by Rasulullah. May Allah wa ta'ala, help us all in this sacred month of Ramadan, grant us all a long life, well being, sihat, afiyat, and cure and well being so that we observe this sacred month and be enlisted among the best of those who observe the sacred month of Ramadan inshallah all those who have passed away Allah by this month of Ramadan forgive them elevate their ranks all those who are ill and ailing Allah grant them shifa Allah hasten in the return of Imam al-Asr alayhi salatu wassalam count us all among the best of his servants Islam and Muslimin worldwide, wheresoever they are, whatsoever oppression Muslimin are seeing Allah remove the oppressors, the Zalimin from the surface of this earth. And the Eidi of this beautiful month be the return of our Imam, our Master, our Hujjah, and that he is happy with every one of us, inshaAllah. إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والباغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر.